we've taken a little detour from Pier, South Dakota, and we're making a little stop in at a place that I've always wanted to visit. There's absolutely nothing more than I love than cheese and wine for a date night. So it's really nice to be able to come here, support a local South Dakotan business, and get to experience an igloo in the Black Hills. You're supposed to. Wait, yes. are you going to cheese me yeah. first? You're supposed to sniff it. What? Cheers to our first vineyard igloo date night. This is the first time I've ever been in an igloo in South Dakota. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. Not bad. It's not bush light, that's not bad. It's light though, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's really nice. That says a lot coming from Zach because he doesn't drink wine. So the fact that he's gone back for a second sip. I didn't know what charcuterie or fence space was. So I've cultured you a little bit tonight. Well, fence space, it's really just jam. And charcuterie is just a cheese plate. But you didn't know what either of them were. So you've learned a little. I went fancy words. So on a scale of one to 10, how good is my date idea tonight? That's a trick question. We'll give it a 10. Perfect answer. Fort. Fort. Do you like this spot? Oh, do you like this spot? Oh, it's a good spot. Where are we? We are. Um... She never knows where she's at. <laughs> ever we're in a state park we're in the black hills we're, we're at lake sheridan come on man we're in lake sheridan we are about a mile or two from prairie berry winery <laughs> it's dark we don't really know what it looks like out there but i'm excited to see it in the morning we stayed in a random campground last night and i haven't seen it in the light yet so i'm about to go outside Oh my goodness. We're going snowmobiling. I'm very excited. I've never been snowmobiling. But today, I'm gonna send it. Stash is frozen, but that's all right. I'm probably gonna fall and bust my ass. Maybe even break something. But that's all right. All right, we are heading out for snowmobiling today with Scenic Safaris. How's everyone feeling after last night, day after New Year's Eve? Good. <laughs> uh, I feel like better than I've ever bucks. felt before. Feel Not hungover at all. Zach? I'm here. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, it's a good day. It's snowing and stuff. There's ice coming from the sky. Articulate. It's going to be a good be day. A good Let's just hope that nobody sends it too hard because my credit card is down snow for the snowmobiles. The snow ponies. What are you doing with your hair, Shay? I have a rat tail. Do you like yeah, it? It's pretty. Ratted. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm either going to ride a snowmobile or do karate. Not sure which. Maybe both. Okay. Get ready to go, people! Dylan and I are going to try and slide down this hill. He's going to go in his bar. I feel like face first might be the best. <laughs> you got to get some. <laughs> that... <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Not quite the same as with a sled. Are you going to go fast? Yeah, 25 miles an hour. If you want to win a drag race, I got up to 27 earlier. <laughs> What an amazing time today we had at Scenic Safaris in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Guys, if you ever get to Jackson Hole, I highly recommend it. Snowmobiling through the mountains. What is better than that? New truck, same problems. We're stuck in Du Bois. She's dead. <sighs>
Yes, we're broke down, and yes, that sucks, but what doesn't suck is we found a pub with some really cool people that are shooting off fireworks. So actually, I'm pretty happy about this little detour. We got another update for you. We found a nice little honky tonk here in Wyoming, and they have hot beer. And my song, Hot Beer. You're gonna break down, do not do it in the mountains. It's cold up there. Do it down here where there's a bar. Someone here is going to know how to fix a truck or have the tools. We don't have either of those, apparently. Getting my guitar. I'm going to entertain all five people in there. We're about to turn it into a country music show at the Outlaw Saloon in the Boys' Wild. <laughs> I'd rather drink a hot beer. found a mechanic in Du Bois, Wyoming. Cole, if this works, thank you. Back on top. G'day everyone, it is the first show back for 2021, or as some call it, the 13th month of 2020. I'm here <laughs> with my good mate, Sydney Wills. I'm so excited she's come to co-host this first show with me, and Sydney's just got her biggest buck ever. You wanna tell everyone about it? Yeah, of course. I'm super excited to be here, especially in Nashville. Being in Illinois, it's freezing cold. I mean, it's kind of cold here in Nashville too. I was hoping for warmer weather, but yeah. I just shot my biggest buck two days ago, a big Louie. If you watch Relentless Pursuit, you know a lot of our big deer call it Big Louie. But he finally walked out 20 yards. I've been hunting 91 days straight for a big deer called That's Mr. Perfect. But Big Louie stepped out instead. He's a giant and I'm super happy. And Oh, that's so awesome. And we'll have to get her to tell that story tonight. But tonight we have Walker Montgomery, Heath Sanders and William Beckman all coming onto this stage. It is going to be an absolute blast. We've got some of our mates here from Nomad as well. Jason Hart and Mike Tussie and some of the others joining for the show. It's going to be a blast. I'm super excited to be back here in Nashville at the listening room. Well, we are all back here just getting ready for the room to fill up. We're excited for the show. Heath, are you pumped to be here or what? Oh, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's a lovely gentleman from Arkansas. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> he can't help it. Can't help it. That's my best. That's my best other answer. I can't help it. We're going to have a good time tonight. Stay tuned. And here's your host for all things country outdoors, Mary O'Neill Phillips. G'day, everyone. Guys, I grew up in Arkansas, right in the foothills of the Ozarks, and, uh, you know, music's really embedded in that culture there. I see music's always been in my blood. You know, I was raised up in church, dad was a preacher, and uh, music's really, really always held a special place for me. And But we'd wake up and we'd say, it's a bad day to be a beer. It's a bad, bad day to be a Grew up on George Strait, but being a border town kid, I, I was, listening to a bunch of like mariachi stuff and a lot of a lot of Mexican music too and we were playing that kind of stuff in a little cover band that I was in when I was in high school. I love the way mariachi sing. I feel like they're some of the best singers in the world. And so there is a lot of Hispanic Latin Latin influence there. He won't bear, won't bear, won't... I understood every single word of that. I don't know where I'm laughing. You drink enough tequila, you don't you understand every word of that song. You guys absolutely killed it tonight. Guys, let's give them a standing ovation. They all deserve it. Come on. Thank you all. What an epic night, guys. I am so happy with how tonight went. A great way to kick off 2021, or the 13th month of 2020, like I hope so. Awesome. Let's see what we have next in store.